Hello Duelists! Russ Merrow here and today we are going to be opening a booster box of Duelist Pack Legend Duelist 3. Sorry about getting this opening to you guys so late because uh, I actually wasn't able to open this box on the day of release exactly because I just came back from vacation and right after vacation I immediately had to like prepare to move because my current house is being renovated. So with that said, let's get right into this first uh, Duelist Pack Legend Duelist 3 pack. So there's nothing of the commons. And our first rare is going to be, oh, a brand new card that features Kaiba's catchphrase. The toughest, the invincible, the unbeatable. So it was really cool when like they revealed on the Japanese OCG Twitter that they were actually going to make a card like featuring the Kaiba's catchphrase as the title. And that's the trap card we just saw right there. So I think as you guys have probably guessed from the cards we've seen so far that this Legend Duelist tree is going to feature Kaiba and the Blue Eyes White Dragon as like the main flagship card. And here we've got another one and this is going to be a rare Rampage of Blue Eyes. Other than Kaiba, we are also getting cards featured from the Cyber Dragon Kaiser Ryo as well as the Galaxy Photon Archetype used by Kaito as well as Sawatari's Abyss Actors from Arc 5. So if I, oh, we are also getting some new uh, Blackwing cards as support for Crow from 5Ds as well. So yeah, if I'm not wrong, those should be all of the cards. And now we are, our next rare is going to be uh, Abyss Actor Curtain Call, a trap card for the Abyss Actor archetype. So those were the first three packs and always just rare. So I think we can really look forward to foils in the coming few packs. Alright, so pack number four. And we're starting off with Black Feather Dragon. All right. Nice to see all these old black feathers. Oh, and our first foil is going to be a super rare. But first, let's take a look at our rare. And our rare is going to be uh, the Abyss Actor Storybook Romantic Terror. So it sort of looks like it's going to be a play on Romeo and Juliet. But anyway, our super rare is going to be Black Feather Shimun of the Poison Wind. So this card name's effect can only be activated once per turn. When there are no monsters on your field, you can banish a Black Feather monster other than Shimun in order to move one Black Whirlwind from your deck to one of your spell trap zones face up. After that, you can either summon Shimun without tributing or send Shimun to the graveyard. The Black Whirlwind that you added to your spell trap zones using this effect will be sent to the graveyard during the end phase and inflict you with 1000 damage. And after activating this effect, you can only special summon Dark Attribute monsters from the extra deck until the end of the turn. So, I would say that's quite an interesting card support for Black Wind. And of course, it's super rare because it helps you search out the Black Whirlwind, even though the Black Whirlwind is only allowed to survive until the end phase. But oh, oh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I, I did not know they were reprinting him here, but oh my god, that's really nice. That's definitely one of my most favorite cards. And our next rare is going to be an Abyss Actor. Comic Relief, so that kind of character, every drama has a Comic Relief character, alright. So really nice to be able to pull a Galaxy Eyes right there, unfortunately, you're just reprinting him as a common, but I mean, even so, I don't really mind, I mean, I don't know if you guys uh, understand, oh, and here we've got another Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, but I mean, of course, it's really cool to have like your favourite card in foil, but there's something, oh, and now we've got uh, the Ritual card Chaos form as well, in order to support the... Chaos Blue Eyes cards that will be in this set and our rare is going to be of Kaito Photon Change so it's really cool to see like they've just packed so much like fan service in the in the Duelist Pack Legend Duelist 3 this time around first is like the Kaiba's catchphrase appearing as a trap card and then we just saw like the Kai and here we've got Blue Eyes White Dragon appearing in unfortunately not his best original artwork but it's still cool to pull him but yeah our previous rare was like Kaito in his Photon Change so that was really nice as well and oh, and now we've got Photon Hand. I'm pretty sure this is another brand new support card for Kaito. So with that, we've actually gone through quite a lot of packs with only pulling a super rare. So I think we've, we have quite a bit to look forward to in the second half of this box opening. And oh, the legendary Stone of White. Photon Slasher, I remember that card from the old days and that was Power Bond right there. And yes, this is Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. So this card is one of the cover cards of this set and it's supposed to be sort of like a variant to Chaos Max. Similar to Chaos Max, this card is Ritual Summon using Chaos Form and cannot be Special Summoned by other means. Also, it cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Now, 
Here's the kicker. When you ritual summon this card using Blue Eyes White Dragon, when this card declares an attack, you can change the battle positions of all your opponent's monsters. And all your opponent's monsters who have their positions changed this way have their attack and defense reduced to zero. Also for the rest of the turn, Chaos gains piercing damage. So you can use his, his newly gained piercing damage right after changing all your opponents to defense position and then lowering their defense to zero to inflict a big 3k damage instantly. So I, I just really love like the... Oh, and now you've got Lady... Uh, lady with eyes of blue. So I just really love the way that like a blue eyes chaos dragon has been made as sort of like Oh and right after we managed to pull blue eyes chaos. All right, let, let's look at the rare first Our rare is gonna be photon banisher and right next we managed to pull the super rare blue eyes solid dragon Which is the second new blue eyes like boss sort of card that they released for this set so both of these card names effects can only be used once per turn. When this card is successfully summoned or special summoned, you can target a face-up monster on the opponent's field in order to negate its effects. And its second effect is when your opponent activates a trap, magic or monster effect, you can activate this effect. Send this card from the field to its owner's deck and then special summon a blue eyes white dragon from your deck. So um, effect-wise, like... It's not much to my taste, but I think that like the permanent effect in negation just from being able to successfully summon Blue Eyes Solid Dragon is pretty sick. And also like its second effect really easily allows you to pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon from anywhere in your field as well, which you can then subsequently use to uh, ritual summon Blue Eyes Chaos. But anyway, our rare is going to be Blackbird Claws. So it's going to be a counter trap card, yeah. So with that, I have just pulled I think both of the new like uh, Blue Eyes the new foil blue eyes monsters that are on this set, both of which are on the cover. So I definitely wanted to get both of them because I mean, since the beginning, blue eyes has definitely been one of my most favorite archetypes and series of monsters in like the entire game. So that was really nice. And our next rare is going to be Black Feather, Austel, Austel of the South Wind. Austel of the South Wind. So since that's just rare, I'm pretty sure that's a reprint. But like, I've never really like played Black Feather or, or Black Wing faithfully, so I'm not too sure whether that's a reprint or a completely new card. But in any case, in total, there were like oh, three main cards that I really want to get with this set. And I already pulled two of them in the form of the two blue eyes just now. And our next rare is going to be Glowing Bowgun. So uh, from the design alone, even though there's no like BF in the name, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a Black Wing equipped support card. Yeah. So the final card I really want to get from this set is actually going to be a Black Feather, a Black Feather card, and it's going to be the new form of Blackwing Armor Master that's set to debut, and it has just such an awesome effect. I mean, the original Armor Master was already really powerful, so it was really cool to see him like get a new form, and oh shit, our next Ultra Rare is going to be Cyber Eternity Dragon. So Cyber Eternity is fusion summon using one Cyber Dragon monster and two machine type monsters. It's first effect. As long as there's a machine type fusion monster in your graveyard, Cyber Eternity cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Secondly, when this fusion summon card is sent to the graveyard by your opponent, you can special summon a Cyber Dragon from your hand deck or graveyard. Finally, you can banish this card from the graveyard in order to activate this effect. During this turn, all the fusion monsters on your field cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effect. So, coupling that with his amazing stats of 2.8k attack and 4k defense, I'd say that Eternity is a pretty damn awesome card and with both together with like the 4k defense and its like final effect where you banish it from the graveyard in order to like protect your fusion monsters, I think like it's sort of like a defensive card which can be pretty good. Oh, and our next uh, super rare, let's look at our next our rare first. And our rare is going to be Eternal Evolution Burst. So that's definitely a uh, Cyber End Dragon there and it's an equip card. So this is sort of like the Blue Eyes, his signature move card but for Cyber Dragon. And our super rare is going to be Bingo Machine Go Go. So you can only activate a card with this name once per turn. First you take 3 cards from your deck and show them to your opponent. But those 3 cards have to be either blue eyes monsters or magic or trap cards other than Bingo Machine Go Go that list either blue eyes white dragon or blue eyes ultimate dragon in their card text. So you'll show those 3 cards to your opponent. He's allowed to choose one, you get to add that to your hand while you return the other two to your deck. So sort of like, uh, you know, just like just like the art depicts, it's sort of like a Gashapon machine style card. Pretty interesting and pretty cool searcher. And now we are down to our final pack. 
So let's see if I can manage to pull the final Blackwing Synchro that I've been looking for. We're starting off with Blast of the Black Spear, another Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dragon Awakening Melody and Abyss Actor card and... Our last card is Cyber Force, which looks like it's just going to be a new support card for Cyber. So that'll be all for this Duelist Pack Legend Duelist 3 opening. All in all, we got 5 foils from this one box, 2 Ultras and 3 Supers, 3 of which were Blue Eyes support cards. So I think this was a pretty good opening for me, because of all the archetypes in this set, Blue Eyes is the one that I'm most likely to play. So if you enjoyed this opening, do give this video a like, and let me know what you guys think about this brand new support for old archetypes in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG booster box openings on the day of release. The next release will be on June 23rd and it will be a structure deck master link which will feature the last of Yusaku's Code Talkers shooting Code Talker. So make sure you guys keep a lookout for that and with that, hope to see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Let's access the spin, it's swirling data stone In a window, in our hearts are made to